Ah, he tried to be so nice. Compromise. Who gets it good? Every mighty mild seventies child. Every mighty mild seventies child beats me. I'm not going to do the doo doos. I'm Liv. This is going to be a long one, folks. So grab your beverages. I have multiple. I got water. I got Dr. Pepper. That's my soda of choice. Yeah, I drink soda. Deal with it. I'm a rebel, okay? But for real, um, welcome. I never say welcome, except for that one video where I did that song from that movie. Um, so, hey, here's my channel. I'm Liv. I like to talk about movies and music. I mean, I like to sing and talk about music, but sing. And that's music, because singing. And also, like, clothing also. So, like, I'm trying to figure out how to kind of like meld all of those things together into like a ball of me funness. And so I was like, hmm, maybe, maybe. I mean, it has been this the whole time, but it just hasn't. I need, it needs fine tuning. But it's like where movies, music, and style collide, right? Right? Uh I didn't even give you guys a chance. I'm just like, you love it. You better love it because it's going to be a thing. Um, though, for real though, this is like, this is like a long show and tell, I guess. It's not a haul. I'm just showing things from my collection. So, um, I'm not really a big jewelry kind of gal, but I like earrings, especially now with the short hair. I love earrings. And, um... I always like go a long time without wearing earrings because I'll like forget and then like <laughs> the holes will close up so <laughs> um and then it's like really difficult it's always really easy to put like one of them in and the other one is like severe pain so um, I'm trying to keep earrings in this time around so I don't have to do that again like two years down the road anyway so um yeah I have like all of my like hodgepodge-ness, hodgepodge-ness from my side table, my like bedside drawer. Um, it's like pins, stickers, patches. Like I don't have much jewelry, but the little bit that I do have is mostly here. So I just kind of wanted to show off some of that. Um, great news, like weird, but good news. I hit all of the things that I need to like be able to apply to get monetized. I'm just like going through the process of figuring out how to do that. There's like things to go through and stuff. So yeah, I need to figure that out. But I hit the things and the stuff and the 4,000 hours and the thousand subs smashed that and um my goal was to get that by the end of the year and it's the first of the month of December and so that's pretty cool and um so my new goal is to actually like get the monetize get that going through once I figure out how to do that and uh it's talking about like tax documents and stuff but I'm like you're YouTube what are you talking about so we'll figure that out and, um, yes, I lost my train of thought, but, oh yeah, no, I want to get that, like, actually done and set by the end of the year, and also hitting 5,000 subs would be really cool, like, really cool. I'm at, like, 30, uh, almost 3,400 right now, so it would be a big jump, but, uh, it's happened before, maybe it'll happen again. Um, I've been doing a lot of coloring lately because I like to color. I like colors. I like color, in case you can tell. How many times am I going to say that sentence? Um, but I've been doing a lot of coloring, so I'm going to show you some of that. 
I know. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And um, what else? What else? Show you my earrings and those things and this stuff. I am going to start talking about movies. Like, not like review, but like kind of talk about movies that I've seen and liked or disliked or ones that surprised me or like I want to talk about like blind watches that I was like oh this was good or like this was entertaining but like not good or like you know you know so um trying to keep my mind kind of focused wanted to play more with like outfits and doing like shorts and reels with like styling outfits so I'll actually like get dressed for the day when I'm staying at home all day on those days um and yeah I don't know I'm just talking okay so this is the coloring book that I've been coloring in I got it last spring beauty it's the beauty of horror a gorgeous coloring book and it really is. I love horror movies. Um, <clears throat> one thing that I said that I like actually came out of my mouth at one point when I first met someone, she was telling me how her husband is like a really big horror movie fan. And I was like, oh my gosh. She asked me what my favorite movie was. And I was in Italy at the time. So I was like, it's Suspiria, you know, because, you know. And, um... She was like, oh, okay, cool. And, and like the reason that Suspiria like really imprinted itself onto me was just like every scene, all the death scenes, every single scene is just like breathtaking. The deaths are breathtaking. So, um, and it's just like dreamy and weird and trippy. And I like that kind of stuff and the music, the music, the music. Okay. Anyway, watch Suspiria if you haven't. I still haven't seen the American remake, whatever it is. I know, I know, I love Mia Goth. I know, I gotta watch it. I know, I gotta watch it. I know. Okay, anyway. Title page. Some of the pages ripped out. I finally finished this. I got this last spring. My sister sent me, like, the sweetest care package when I got my tonsils removed, and it was, like, so painful. If you've ever gotten your tonsils removed, especially as an adult, it is, like, one of the most painful surgeries. Um, and, like, it, they basically, like, laser them off. They, like, burn them off with a laser. And it, like, burns your nerves. So, like, even the very low pain meds that they give you, like, low-dose pain meds, they do nothing at all. Because it's, like, the nerves in your throat have to, like, re- grow. So that's a rough time. She sent me the sweetest care package and this book was in there and there's just so many details to every page that like I haven't actually finished any of the pages yet except for just recently. So um, I'm happy with that title page. This one's almost done. I have one side done and the other side I just have to get the, um, the roof and maybe some more details on the house but it's like mostly done. This is cool. I I'm proud of all of the little leaves. I stuck it out. We did it. We used all of the colors, all the browns I have in the tree. And the skeletons are kind of like lavender or like lilac, which is fun. Um, so like, even though all of these are spooky, it's like I'm trying to make them like kind of pretty. Okay, and then this one, this was the... Well, I actually just added a final detail on this, but this bat, this purple devil bat, I just really liked this whole thing. Um, the background's like metallic, silver, and gold. I couldn't decide on which one, so I went with both. I was going to do black, and then I only wanted the black on the inside of this. Anyway, um, I just added the lime green around all of the um, like vampire mouths, so... It's finally done, and I'm happy with that guy. I'm like a six-year-old showing you my my coloring pages for the day. For the year, really. Um, and then these are nearly done, but I've made some progress. We're getting there. I'm really happy with the colors I've chosen with this so far. Oh. 
So I really love color and um, yeah. Okay, what's next? What's next? Oh, so then someone was talking about a way that I can get more subscribers is to post my um, routines. He was like, You're, you'll get 5k by the end of the year, start posting routine videos. And I was like, what do you mean routine videos? Like, because, but I mean, you would think, I guess majority of people would think like your daily routine, which is what they meant. But I was like, do they just mean like posting r videos like routinely, like at the same time on the same day? Or did they mean like doing routines in videos, which would make no sense. But I used to be on like pom pom squad. So anyway, anyway, 11 minutes in. So I've talked about these before and um, I, this, I've linked her Instagram before. This is Altered Notions Shop and this is like metal. She works with like, like not scrap items, but like different kinds of materials um, and makes cool jewelry with them. And I'm just showing, okay, so I'm starting with my earrings. I thought it would be fun to kind of like show all, of, not in this video, but eventually show like all of my t-shirts because I have really fun t-shirts and like all of my dresses, even though I don't really wear that much anymore. Um, okay, so I'm gonna show my earrings, like all the jewelry, and then depending on how much time that took, I may get into like buttons and or patches and then I'll probably do stickers and like like trading card type of like novelty cards because I have a little pack of that kind of stuff. Um, I might do stickers on that like in a different video because there's a lot of stuff here. Um, yeah, but basically like the way that you can make money on YouTube is just like by people watching your videos and like the ads that play during your videos. Um, so like, it's kind of like better if you make longer videos, um, and people seem to like when I post long videos. So that's what we're going with here is it's going to be, it's going to be a long video. Um, and I'm already just like rambling and haven't even really showed anything yet. So I've shown these before. This is the Big Happy Jewelry Co. And... <laughs> Um, these are glow-in-the-dark ghosts. It is a reference to I think you should leave if you are not familiar with that Netflix show, sketch comedy show. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it at that. That, I'll link that Insta shop in the comments, but they just make the best things. They have like all sorts of st like Tim Robbins and stuff and like Nathan for you stuff and just like weird stuff that you would any weirdos little heart could desire okay so then I have a ton on here the thing that I was most like uh, that I would like urgently wanted to get the ear holes open for was Halloween earrings because I have these glow-in-the-dark skeletons that are like so long and kind of distracting but also super fun and then I have these little skeletons which like this one already lost its arm and I don't know where it is I know it's somewhere I saw it around here somewhere like a couple weeks ago but I'm extremely disorganized and that's okay that's like not a bad thing that's just like my personality but like look at these heads and then that, and then it goes like through the ear and then the body's on the other side of the ear and then they kind of like move around and dangle. So that's super fun. And then I just got some regular like cubic zirconia bling bling for when I want to feel fancy. And then I like, I like for these to do like, I don't know, this is like a dagger one. I like doing the dagger and a skeleton or dagger and crescent moon or there's handcuffs which I love, but it also looks kind of cheap, so I haven't worn those yet. But I love all of those. I got a lot of the, um, like, skeleton, all the spooky ones from when I worked at Salvation Army and got jewelry for cheap there. 
these are also from there I haven't even I never wore these they're dusty <laughs> and um, I should have wore them during the last season that we just had the spooky season but I don't know I felt like wearing the other ones a lot more than these I just never reached for those for whatever reason so and then ah! my apologies I want to be a great a good host I just I kicked you and I'm sorry I'm sorry um okay now I have speaking of when I went to Italy back in 2019 it was like the coolest trip of my life I got a couple pairs of earrings um, so I'll show one of ooh, show one of each here they're so cool they're so pretty if I can get them the right way I can't get it the right way okay so yeah kind of yeah yep so there's like a peacock cherry blossom something or other like okay we're kind of doing good there we go all right there we go Ooh, good job um and it's uh rose quartz is the like light pinkish one and then citrine is this one's so cool looking you probably can't see but it's like gold sparkle no not really um but those are ones that i got in italy <laughs> okay okay why was i in italy you ask i don't know if i've talked about this before but i have a sister that is a therapist and sometimes she does like women's retreats and she did one in Italy. It was about like women finding pleasure and she did it with her friend who was a yoga, who's like a yoga master instructor. And um, we were just there for a week in a like beautiful villa doing yoga and eating like the best food of my life. And you know, trying to open up what, you know, open up the feelings and talking to people and women about stuff that you relate on and there was some group work and, and anyway, it was cool. It was a good time. It was the best trip I've ever had and I would love to go back to Italy sometime. Okay, I have these little like cheapy... I don't know. I love them, but they're like really cheap. But I got those at like a secondhand stop, a stop shop in Detroit that was painted bright yellow. And I can't remember what it was called, but I used to go there. And then I got a ring from there too. I think it was this one, maybe? I don't know. But I love both of these rings, but they're like, my fingers are too fat for them. So I'll probably be selling those somewhere. And then, and then, I have a few things that I got from my grandma on my mother's side. She let me pick out a couple earrings. Ooh, well, it's like one pair of earring, one pair of earring. <laughs> um, but you can like switch things out, which is like, you know, you like, two for the price of one or whatever so there's these green ones it kind of like again goes through your ear and then the other part goes on the other side and then you can also switch it out for this really pretty like sparkly gray I don't know pearly kind of um, and then there's also these even though they're silver I think they could also kind of I don't know dangle with the green I don't know maybe maybe and then this really pretty pin brooch so those came from her so they're very very special uh, but again I'm not really a big jewelry person um, and then I also have a fox necklace somewhere around here somewhere I don't know exactly where but I know it's in this apartment somewhere Again, I'm not organized, but that is okay. That doesn't make me a bad person, you guys. And then, 
I also have this, which I absolutely love. It reminds me of Carrie Bradshaw's necklace, even though hers is gold. Um, and I got it from a manager. <laughs> One of my managers. I used to work at Kroger, like, before the, right before COVID. And then things got really bad and I, like, had to leave. Well, I, like, chose to leave because things got really bad. But... I had the sweetest manager there and she just got me like really cute personalized gifts like that and she was the best manager I ever had and I worked in the cheese department so I could like eat cheese all day <sighs> it was like kind of the dream job but also like a nightmare that I had to like run to the bathroom and cry every couple hours because you know corporate world in the public okay 20 minutes in. That was a really loud smack. It's okay. I'm all right. It didn't hurt. It's okay. Um, so I guess we'll move on to the buttons. Okay. I'm going to show these enamel pins first because <laughs> this is the greatest thing of my life, this pin. And, um, I've talked about this podcast before and I talk about it on my Instagram a lot. I'll, I'll link my Instagram below. I never link it because when I first joined, the YouTubes two years ago. I was just being my nice friendly self like I am and I commented on a like horror dudes video like cool and added him on Instagram and things got weird real quick so I had to like block block Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. I had to triple block. Never had to do that before. Um, but then I kind of like removed my Instagram link and my things, but maybe I should put them back up since I haven't had any. Anyway, <laughs> we're just talking about everything today. It's a go. It's a long one. It's going to be a long one. And okay. This says you're beautiful and you're going to do great today. This is baby Jesus Fox. Just take it all in. So baby Jesus box. <laughs> um, so Bechtel cast is a podcast. It's my favorite podcast, which I was surprised it didn't, it wasn't my number one on Spotify, but whatever, whatever is okay. It was my second one this year. Anyway, they talk about movies. Um, any, any kind of movie, really. They've talked about old movies, new movies, horror, comedy, documentary, all kinds of stuff. Um, one of them actually went to film school and <laughs> one of them, I think went to school for like broadcasting journalism, something like that. But, um, they're both very lovely. Jamie Loftus and Caitlin Durante. They're comedian, writer, women. And, um, I just really enjoy like listening to them talk. And Jamie Loftus is just, like, so funny to me. And she says a lot of things that, like, I really relate to. She's a few years younger than me, but she, like, talks very openly about, like, her mental health issues and struggles with, like, therapists and things like that. And, um, self-esteem and all that stuff. And, like, jokes about it in, like, kind of a, like, self-deprecating way, which, like, is my kind of humor. Um... <clears throat> <coughs> Anyway, she introduced me to the world of, I'm saying me because she talked about it on the podcast. We're not friends. She has re, uh, she has like reshared when I will like post stories like Jamie Loftus talked about Matthew Lillard because we both love Matthew Lillard. Um, so she'll like reshare that and stuff and it makes me feel special. Okay. Anyway. She loves hot dogs and she wrote a book about them I and mean, you should read it. <laughs> What's happening? Oh my god. Okay, anyway. Uh, yes. Okay, so Baby Jesus Fox is an Instagram that I will also link. I'm gonna, there's just gonna be like a wall list of links. But I, I put stuff in the description of these videos, you guys. There's always stuff in there usually. Um, so yeah. If there isn't, tell me or ask me if you need a link for something or want to know, you just want to know 
like how my day was, it's usually not good. So don't ask me how my day was. I hate winter. That's what I wanted to talk about. Let's talk about that for a second. We're only 25 minutes in. I hate winter. I hate it so much. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. It is the worst and it makes me so sad. Oh yeah, I can't get that low. Um, but for real though, like seasonal affective disorder is a real thing, but also for like the peeps that are all like already like super depressed, just like their brains are not the most chill. Um, winter's a rough time. And so like first day of December, right? Vlogmas, I guess is a thing where people like post like vlogs every day, which I'm definitely not going to be doing that. Dear Lord. No, thank you. Um, but maybe I'll like post short videos every day or something. I don't know. I just want to like try and stay a little distracted. I've been in a real funk since fall, really, because it's just like, ah. um, and it's been dark and gray and just like, nah, and stuff. So that's why we're showing the fun things that make us, you know, bring us a little bit of ha -ha, happiness or joy or spark of whatever. Um, I'm on medication. <laughs> I don't know why I just said it like that out of nowhere, but I am on like mental health medication, but like it just in the winter, it's like a whole nother ball game. Like all bets are off. Everything goes out the door and I would prefer just to sleep like 20, at least 20 hours a day and eat for the other hours and then just go back to sleep because hibernation is a thing and it is a thing maybe not for humans but maybe it should be anyway um yeah i like i don't really want to stay in michigan necessarily because of the winter but also i have like a perspiration problem so like if i want like to California or like something like that I don't think that would be like great either dude so like uh then like even like you know the south like if I went to like Texas or something like that'd be even worse I think so like where should I go you guys like where should I go okay back to showing things off back to sh lives show and tell baby Jesus fucks <laughs> Baby Jesus Fox is an Instagram of this girl, comedian, actor, writer. I'll look it up. I don't know. There will be a link. You'll figure it out. It's like a taxidermy fox that looks like this. <laughs> and she takes him around and puts him into situations and photographs it. And there is an Instagram for it. And it is so good. It was like, for a while when I was at Salvation Army, it was like, on my break, I would just be like, oh, I have to look at baby Jesus Fox to get me through this tough time. So, you know, check it, check it out, baby Jesus Fox. Um, and then I have a couple, what is this, Devouring Dark, and then this just like Black Lightning Bolt, which are not really my style, so I'll probably sell those or donate those or throw them in a... I'm going to be selling things eventually. It's going to happen. Maybe December is the month. I don't know. My birthday is the 10th and I hate, I know hate is a strong word. I don't give a fuck. Hate is a strong word. It was a joke, you guys. I said the F word. Um, no, but for real though, I hate the winter. I hate December. I hate that my birthday is in December and every year in December I say next year I'm gonna change it I know you can't like change your birthday because like you were born on that day and you can't like be born on a different day you can't unless you like could go back in time but like you can't at this point um but I just like it would be really cool if I could celebrate 
my me day when I'm not the most depressed out of the year. Because that's how it is every year. And I'm just like, <laughs> I hate. Um, so yeah. I do kind of want to do like a live stream. Maybe not on my birthday, but like I've never done one. And now that I can like, well, kind of, sort of, eventually soon start making making a little bit of money on YouTube. I know it's going to be like a dollar a month or something, like nothing. But still, still, I didn't even think that like I would have that many hours and subscribers that I have right now. It's just really cool. It's not like a, oh my gosh, I'm so popular, but it's like a, hey, you've been doing this thing that you like to do and it makes you feel like you're doing something kind of creative, you know, some sort of outlet that you've been um, lacking for a minute. And it's like something I've been doing for a couple years now and like it's starting to pay off a little bit just like the momentum finally a little bit anyway anyway it's not about that oh my goodness this is all over the place and we're 31 minutes in okay also Christmas isn't like you know because December and brains brains brain chemistry <laughs> Brains, December, it's like zombie month, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I just don't love Christmas and it's fine. It's fine, but it's like, whatever. And then, like, gift giving is such a weird thing. People get weird about it. Um, but if anyone, like, wants to get me a computer, <laughs> just kidding. No, but I think I might, like, get myself a computer for Christmas. Like, my mom asked me what I wanted for my birthday and Christmas, and I'm gonna be like, if you just want to give me, like, a little bit of money, then I can put towards my giant purchase of a computer for myself. Because I haven't had my own computer in, like, the word computer is really weird. In, like, years. I think I want a desktop. I don't know. I've been thinking about it. I don't know. I don't know. But, like, I haven't been able to edit videos in, like, ever really, fully, really. Um, but, like, at all for, like, a year-ish, probably, maybe. Am I saying sentences? I don't know. Um, you get the gist. I'm looking at these weird pins because I remember purchasing them off of Poshmark. And they are not me at all. And so it's just very funny. I'm like, I think I got them in probably, like, 2017 or 18 and with I think where I lived when I purchased these and um I they're still in the bubble wrap I never use them obviously and I thought they were so cute and I had to narrow it down to these three because it was like three for 15 or something this was years ago and I mean it's still my favorite color like aqua is my color of colors oh shoot my phone's gonna die <laughs> plug it in plug it in for all you millennials out there. Okay. So the three that I went with, the most random. Like, why? I didn't pick any. What? Okay, so there's this one. This jewel, which I guess was like kind of a big thing during that time, was like the diamond gemstone look. I like it, but like, it's not. What? I don't know. You guys know. You know. You get it. And then there's this one, which is, like, adorable, but never in my life have I roller skated. Nope. I've tried rollerblading a couple times when I was a kid. I am the least coordinated person you probably will ever come across in your life. No sports. No. Not. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Nope. And then. What? Like, yes, girls, we love girls, supporting girls and having groups of girls be friends and not hate each other. But this, uh, I don't know. I don't know. So that's kind of funny. And then, <laughs> I don't know, 34, I'll stop it at the, at the hour mark for sure. But like, I think I'm going to just keep going. 
I'm gonna plug the phone in. We got some time. We're good. We're good. We got the light going, so it's like almost acting like a happy light, sad light, happy light, therapy light. Not really, but it's kind of nice. It is kind of nice just getting that like bright. Ah. Okay. This is my another enamel pen. Per evil kitty cats. There we go. <laughs> um, and then oh my gosh, there's so many things. Okay. And then I'm gonna take a sip of Dr. Pepper, you guys. Take a sip of your beverages. Hopefully my fan isn't too loud, but like, honestly, like out of all of the things that are like, that make me the most me, number one is sweat. I'm not even joking. Number one, the number one thing about me that is me is the fact that I sweat profusely, almost always. Thank you very much. Um, and it's okay. It's not gross. It's normal. It's fine. It's a thing that happens. And you know, anxiety is very real. And sometimes your body and your central nervous system does things that you just have no control over. And your body thinks that it's like under attack, even though you're like just going out to get your mail. <sighs> anyway, um, should we look at these buttons, pins, buttons? Pins, buttons, pins, buttons. What are they called, you guys? Do you call them pins? Do you call them buttons? Do you call them something else? Do you call them something else? So I forgot to show these in, um, when I showed that cropped top, uh, Goonies. Why couldn't I think of it? The Goonies crop top that I got from Nightmare Video. Um, he threw in like stickers and pins, but like these kind of fell out onto the floor and I didn't notice until after the video was done. So those are dope. And then I don't know where I got a lot of these from, but that's okay. I know I did buy some of them. Um, my friend made some of them. Okay. This one I definitely bought, <laughs> obviously. Ask me where. <laughs> um, and then this uh, I didn't buy. Got Burger. Ipsy. Is that still around? I don't know. That was years ago. I don't know. And then this one, Halloween Fiend. Um that I got, it was thrown into a Poshmark bundle. I can probably link the video somewhere up here that I showed that off at. I don't know what this is. Okay, anyway. <laughs> then, if we're gonna talk about Michigan places, we got Brutopia, baby. Bay, Bay, Bay City. <laughs> um, and then, that's where I'm from. That's also where Madonna is from, you guys. What? She hates it. It's okay. She hates it. Um, and then <laughs> this, I think, I'm pretty sure I bought this. I don't know where I bought it. You are responsible for what you do not say. And that's like something that you should really think about, you know. Um, and then uh, some of these I don't, I think both of these probably came from Ben Scott. What does this say? How do you make a foot with the... Oh, how do you make a pact with the devil? <laughs> it's really small writing. I can read! Look at it. It's so small. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay, anyway. And then this one, because same girl, and 
got a couple music ones. We got a bowie. Yeah, but I get it. Yeah, but hello. There we go. And things keep popping up, so I don't know if it's in. There we go. <laughs> like, stop. Stop doing anything right now. Okay. Abbey Road, Beatles. Yeah, you may have heard of the Beatles. <laughs> and then <laughs> this music one as well Dead Surf, which I've shown a couple videos from their shows before. I have many other videos on my phone, and I have to share them to a different YouTube for like their videos. So that's another thing that I have to do among the many things. Um, and then. Few, ooh, a few more pens, buttons. Tell me in the comments if you made it 41 minutes in, if you call them pins or buttons. She tried to make a song out of it, but it didn't really work. Tell me if you made it 41 minutes in, if you call it pins or button. It really doesn't work. She's trying to make it work and it really doesn't. Top that. Okay, but for real though. Evil Dead. Pretty sure I got that from Mike. What does it say? The ultimate experience in grueling terror. And then... Love that. I don't know exactly where I got that. Stop! I don't think I Why? Oh yeah. Why won't it? Girl, why? Why are you doing this? The Fleabag Mystique. <laughs> I could have just said that. I don't know where that came from. And then this... I have no idea where this came from. It looks like art from several artists that I know. Could have been Nick. Could... Could be... I don't see a name on it. And then I have this... Attack of the Killer Tomato dealio. Um, so that's cool. And then I'm losing steam, I guess, right? No, it's really just things keep popping up on my phone. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm not crazy, except <laughs> my voice just did something weird. Maybe I am crazy. Maybe we're crazy. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Oh my word, what's happening? I did just get over COVID. I didn't have any Thanksgiving. I had like three bowls of Fruit Loops and yeah. My favorite Thanksgiving food is stuffing. Dressing, stuffing, dressing. I don't care, it's just like bread. It's just like herbaceous bread. Why would you not like that? <coughs> <coughs> you guys, I'm sorry. Oh. Last one from here. Dopest of them all. I want to, I'm going to show off the patches because I don't have that many. And then I do want to get like, well, I have several jean vests and I want to do kind of like a battle vest type dealio, but I don't have many patches. So it's like, well, I just cover it in those button pins. Are we calling them buttons or pins, guys? Tell me in the comments. What are we calling them? Buttons? Pins? Have you seen the movie Pin? Anyway, patches. These ones are like super like cheapy. I actually just ripped them off of a Forever 21, um, cheap Forever 21 shirt that I got from Plato's Closet. <laughs> a like cheap shirt that I got from a, a cheaper secondhand store that I then just stole the cheap things off of. Okay. Anyway, I couldn't just like throw it away or just like, the shirt was rough after a minute, so. These, awesome, love that. Oh, these are great. I don't have many patches, but the ones that I have are pretty great. They're actually 
pretty, pretty, pretty good. <laughs> love that. And then love this. Speaking of Lillard. And then Broadway video. I love that. That's so cool. Looks so, it'll look so good on a vest. Oh my God. Oh my God. And then there's this one that I still have in the package that I got like, who, five, six, seven, how many years ago? I don't know, but it is from the Portland Patch Project. Portland Patch Project. Portland Patch Project. A monthly released embroidered patch club designed by rotating artists. Portland, Maine. Hell yeah, PortlandPatchProject.com. PortlandPatchProject.com. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I, but let's see if it's still around. Somebody type it in. Tell me in the comments if it's still around. Is there anybody out there? We're 46 minutes in. She's extremely long winded tonight. When is it gonna end? It kind of worked. It kind of worked. Another thing that I want to start doing is writing parody songs because that's always been a thing that I've, like, really liked doing since I was, like, young. Weirdly young. And, um, I have all these ideas. And, um, yeah. Anyway. What? That's all I had to say about that. Uh, so this one is from artist Chris Johnson. K-R-I-S. John... Johnson Johnson J O H N S E N because it's like kind of spelled unexpectedly so I'm spelling it for you Are you kidding The perfect patch does not exist Oh here it is there it is ah! So yeah I need to put those on something Ha <laughs> ha! You need to take a little little break, little breather. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? Um, do we want to go through all of the stickers? Stickers? Stickers. Sean Connery likes stickers. I don't think he does, though. He probably doesn't like stickers. I keep saying stickers. I've never called stickers stickers in my life. What's happening? Speaking of stickers, <laughs> um, I have a couple that I meant to show. I don't know if I showed this one or not last time. This is a nightmare video one. It's so good. Ah! I like the color choice on that. I love color and like color combinations and like playing around with color combinations, color combinations, and just like coloring and like, it's like, I love art and feel like I should be an artist but like don't have the like artistic skill except for like an eye for color so there we are this I forgot to show or I didn't forget to show it I just couldn't find it a couple many videos ago when I was showing off a t-shirt haul um from I mean is this not the cool sticker? Um, so yeah, I'll share their Insta and like, it's where I got the, oh my gosh, I haven't worn that shirt in so long. Where is it? It's so soft. It's so good. I need to look for that shirt. Speed two. This time it's on a boat. I think that's what it said on there. And it, and it like, it's like a pff, words. It's like the movie, like, poster, kind of, but it said, like, Sandra Bullock and, like, not Keanu. Like, this time it's on a boat. Funny! <laughs> uh, okay, and then, um, maybe I'll just show the cards and I'll show all the stickers in a different video? Because I don't have as many cards. Look at these stickies, you guys. I got a lot of stickies. Well... I don't know if you're if you've been here this long and you're like still here I don't think you're going anywhere so we'll just we'll just keep at it 
right? Why not, right? So, what do we have? I don't know where this came from. It was thrown in with something, but I do like this. It's a connect the dots and it looks like super old. Stewardess? And then it says draw an airplane. It reminds me of like Busy World of Richard Scary, kind of. Just like cute, simple, old school. I don't know. That's fun. I don't know. It was in my bedside drawer. I don't know. And then I have... What is that? Okay, I don't really have like ones together. That's okay. Okay, so I have a bunch of gremlin ones, which I'm pretty sure came from Matt Gainey when he sent me all of those tapes because I really wanted that model behavior one. So then I ended up getting like 30 other ones. <laughs> you know how it goes. What's this? Yeah, I just have a lot of random ones, really. So, I have a, what is that? I don't know what that is. Um, so I have these, these like Gremlins cards. Kind of cool. I'm not gonna like read it all. We'll be here forever. But they're cool. They're fun. They're like. You know, what does it say? 1990! It's like basically exactly when I was born. Basically. Exactly. Mysterious new arrival. <laughs> oh, this is Gremlins 2, you guys. It's Gremlins 2. Which is like great. Gremlins 2 is great. Seductive Marla. Cute. Real cute. Super seductive. What makes her seductive? The red hair? I don't know. The eyes? Um, the nasty prank. Love it. Oh, this one's grim. One, oh wait, those, those are, I have three from Gremlins 2. And then I have one from Gremlins 1984. That's fun. And then I have this Batman Returns, which I kind of love because it's uh, Michelle Pfeiffer, so hell yeah. And then the chemistry between Michael Keaton and Michelle Pfeiffer is one of the major charms of Batman Returns. Their on-screen relationship is hot and often and oft times and oftentimes literal battle of the sexes. I shouldn't have read it. I shouldn't have read it. Damn it. It's fine. Ding 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 a ding ding. Ding 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 dug a ding ding. Bam bam. Um Frozen Pizza Party. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1990 also. Cool, love it. Cool, cool. And then we got the Yosemite Sam Looney Tunes card. I don't know. Where did Ken Griffey Sr. and Ken Griffey Jr. hit their back-to-back -back home runs? Do you know? Do you know the answer? I'll give you a minute to guess. No googling allowed. I, I'm sorry. Um, Baba Gusos. Anaheim. The answer is Anaheim. Anaheim CA versus the Angels. Yep, you got it right. Way to go. Way to go. You did it. Now we have um, a spider has 48 knees. What? Whoa. 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 Cool. Uh, brain straining doodle workers? I don't know what that means. What? Doodle workers. Doodle workers. Doodle workers? Slabrous runk? I'm a fan. Oh yeah. I'm sold. 
I want to be a doodle worker. Oh, are you kidding? Look at that dude. Look at that doodle. I love him. All right, we're getting there. <laughs> we're getting there. Bartholomew Pick. Oh, because he's picking his nose. <laughs> um, yeah, chronic nose picker. Hell yeah. Once a successful janitor, until his picking activities became known to the public. No one wants a nose picker for a janitor. What? Who cares? Uh, he eventually lost his job and grossed out his family. Oh my gosh, what an embarrassment. 1992. He just sits around all day digging, digging for the big one. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, Bartholomew. Oh no. All right. So I got these packs of cards years ago and I opened them and then like, I put them back in there and I never did anything with them. What do you do with cards? I don't know, but I have some Saved by the Bell ones. And I have these Superstars music cards. Superstars music cards. When I see this Superstars um, package, it keeps making me think of Stable of Stars. But it's cool. I like the colors and everything. Um... With facts about your favorite rock, pop, and rap stars. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know. There's uh, 1991. Good times. We like all came out around the same time. Like me and like these cards. It's like we're like one in the same. We're like kindred spirits. What? Anyway, I have the sniffles. Shy? I don't know. I don't care. I don't know. Um, LL Cool J, we love, we love, I love LL Cool J. Don't even, don't even mess with Deep Blue Sea. Don't, I don't talk to me about Halloween H2O. He can do no wrong. <coughs> Young MC, what did you do? Wild Thing, what? He was a co-writer. Way to go. And Funky Coleman. Dude, way to go. You did it. You did the thing. You did the damn thing. And you wrote the songs. And you did it. Adamski? Adamski? Adam Sky? I don't know. I feel like I should know who this is, but I don't. Adam Tinley? Six-year-old brother when he was 11, he formed a group. Stupid Babies. The summer of 89. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Voivod? I am familiar with that name, but... I don't know. Um, Zach Wild. Ozzy Osbourne guitarist, way to go, way to be. Zeppelin. Is it like that? Soul to Soul. That's a lot of people in that group. London based, Jazzy B, Nellie Hooper. Began in 82 as a store that offered clothes, sound equipment, and records. We created what I call the Funky Dread lifestyle, Jazzy explains, as a musical group, Soul to Soul combines smooth textures, tough grooves, and imaginative choreography. Huh. All right. Few more, few more. Uh, Belbib DeVoe. Hell yeah. That girl is poison. Two. Two in a row. Belbib DeVoe. Belbib DeVoe. Two in a row. Belbib DeVoe. Two in a row. Belbib DeVoe. Do boo 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 boo. And then just these. And then just a few Saved by the Bell cards. And we'll be like just at an hour. And I will not show you any of the stickers that will be. 
for another video. Get back in the package. It's not gonna fit. Oh my goodness, what happened? Nope. No, it's not. Nope. It's really not gonna. Ooh. Okay, that's a, yeah, okay. We have one, two, three. Ooh, these are good. These are good. Saved by the Bell. Mark Paul Gossler. Zach Morris is trash. I'll do it, it. Dutch parents? Who knew? Bilingual household? What the heck? What? I had no idea. Lark Voorhees, beauty, the best style, style icon, working in a TV series teaches me about responsibility and a taste of what it's like in the real working world. Lark studies singing and plays the violin, cello, and piano. Doobity doop doobity doop doop. I don't know. Then we've got the queen herself, the babe, the babeliest of all the babes, babelish, Miss Kelly Kapowski. Beep, 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 beep. I don't think Zach wants to go out with me anymore. Is it possible that he likes someone else? Lisa, Kelly, get real. He's been in love with you for years. There's got to be another reason. That's all it says. Why doesn't it talk about her like seven siblings or whatever? Her poor family. That was such a big... Anyway. Zack and Slater. They really hated each other. Did you guys watch the college years? I'm standing at the end of tomorrow. I really actually liked it. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mario Lopez is a very romantic fella who explains the qualities he looks for in a girl as a lady, sweet, humorous, and cares about her body <laughs> and staying fit. I like someone romantic yet adventurous. <laughs> uh, okay. And then we have, oh, you guys remember? You guys remember that? You remember? That was awesome. Don't you miss Chris Farley? Like, it's been... I still miss him. I was watching, um... I think it was Black Sheep. I don't know. I mix up Black Sheep and Tommy Boy. But, um... There's... He, I think it's Black Sheep. But, like, he, like, falls down a hill. Like, he, like, takes a full-on, like rolling somersaults down a huge ass hill like a steep ass fell off a hill fell down it whoa like the longest falling scene he falls to the ground stands up <laughs> what the hell was that all about <laughs> And I have not laughed that hard in a very long time. So if you don't know that one, check it out. Check that one out for real. It's great. It's great. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I'll see you later with some stickers. And um, I'll be around. I'll be around on the YouTubes trying to hide from the despair of December and January and February. It doesn't really get better until May, pretty much. Ooh. All right, I hope everyone has a wonderful time with whatever t time it is. I hope it's wonderful. And um, you should always be kind. And you should rewind. And that's it.